friends good morning welcome to my channel balu master today i'm going to discuss target je advanced 2020 so today i'm going to discuss uh, integral calculus how the questions they are going to ask in je advanced based on 2019 questions uh, so in integral calculus friends uh, they are going to ask from indefinite and definite integration they are asking compulsory one question whereas in areas and uh, means applications of integration and uh, differential equation they are asking one question compulsory in this integral calculus part uh, minimum 8 marks compulsory friends uh, that's what we are going to focus today on integral calculus uh, your question number 1 the value of the integral integral 0 to pi by 2 to 3 root cos theta by root cos theta plus root sin theta whole to the power of 5 d theta how you are going to evaluate uh, this kind of questions means uh, so very very simple question let it be called the given question as i let it be called equation number 1 now what i'm going to do means uh, you know the formula integral 0 to a f of x dx is equals to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx by applying this formula this i will be changed as like this i is equals to integral 0 to pi by 2 so 3 times of root over cos a minus x means cos 90 minus x cos 90 minus theta is equals to sin theta root 3 root sin x by root over cos 90 minus theta sin theta of course theta this is also plus root over sin 90 minus theta gives cos theta whole to the power of 5 d theta this is what equation number 2 if you observe 1 and 2 just add 1 and 2 then you are getting i plus i is equals to 2i integral 0 to pi by 2 so numerator if you see 3 root cos theta plus 3 root sin theta if you take 3 as common 3 by so if you observe in the numerator root cos theta plus root sin theta if you observe in the denominator also root cos theta plus root sin theta whole power 5 is there if you cancel it remains root sin theta plus root cos theta whole power 4 after cancellation how you are going to evaluate this kind of sums means integral so three times of integral 0 to pi by 2 so 1 by just you take root cos theta outside If you take root cos theta as outside, you are going to get root cos theta whole power four will get out out. So whenever root cos theta whole power four means that's what uh, cos square theta remains into root over. So if you take root cos theta is common, root cos root sin theta by root cos theta is nothing but root tan theta plus one whole to the power of four d theta. This is what you are going to write three times of integral zero to pi by two. One by cos square theta is nothing but secant square theta by root tan theta plus one whole power four d theta. Now the simplification is very very easy. Let us consider the substitution. Put tan theta is equals to t square. So put tan theta is equals to t square. If you take t square tan theta derivative to secant square theta d theta is equals to 2t dt then this is nothing but uh, 3 times of uh, integral whenever you are going to take the substitution change the limits according to that uh, so if you take theta as 0 tan 0 0 if you take theta as pi by 2 tan pi by 2 is nothing but infinite uh, so 0 to infinite uh, secant square theta d theta is nothing but 2t dt by so tan theta is nothing but t square under root is nothing but t t plus 1 whole to the power of 4 how to simplify this one means uh, let us go by using uh, partial fractions uh, so that's what in the, here 2 is there 2 keep it outside 3 into 2 equal to 6 into 0 to infinity this can be written as uh, 1 plus 1 by t plus 1 whole cube uh, minus 1 by t plus 1 whole power 4 uh, dt if you write uh, then this simplification remains in the numerator as t If you simplify, you are going to get uh, denominator is t plus one whole to the power of four. That's what the numerator is t plus one minus the numerator is one. One one get cancelled. T is remains here. Already two we are going to keep it outside. That is what six. Now the calculation will be very easy. That is equals to six times of integral zero to infinity t plus one whole power minus three dt minus integral zero to infinity t plus one whole to the power of one by four dt. bracket why because this 6 belongs to total value 6 times of uh, x to the power of n integration is nothing but x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 that's what t plus 1 whole power minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 by minus 2 between the limits 0 to infinity so as well as minus 6 times of uh, 
This is what t plus 1 whole power minus 4. t plus 1 whole power minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 by minus 3 between the limits 0 to infinite. That is what you are going to write uh, minus. Uh, so minus will go here. Minus of minus will become plus. Uh, 3 2s are 6 cancel. 2 3s are cancel. Now this can be written as. Uh, so minus is there. Minus into 3 minus 3 into t plus 1 whole power minus 2 can be written as 1 by t plus 1 whole square between the limits 0 to infinity minus minus into minus becomes plus 2 times of 1 by t plus 1 whole cube between the limits 0 to infinite that is what you are going to write if you take infinite here infinite plus 1 infinite whole square of course infinite 1 by infinite is nothing but 0 then if you take 0 the result is 1 so 0 minus 1 is nothing but this quantity is minus 1 minus 3 into minus 1 is nothing but uh, plus 3 then plus 2 times of uh, so this result also minus 1 2 into minus 1 is nothing but minus 2 that's what 3 minus 2 is equals to 1 so then if you observe left hand side you have 2i 2i is equals to 1 means uh, very clearly this i is nothing but uh, 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 is your answer friends so from integral calculus uh, they are going to ask this kind of easy questions also in advance so, in 2019 they are asking one more question from different integration area friends uh, the question is i is equals to 2 to 2 by pi integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 dx by 1 plus e power sin x into 2 minus cos 2x uh, then 27 i square equal to dx here also this is also based on integration properties if you know the properties definite integration properties uh, then this kind of questions you can able to crack very easily friends uh, then the logic for this question is nothing but uh, this is what uh, integral integral a to b f of x dx is equals to the property is integral a to b f of a plus b minus x dx lower limit plus upper limit minus x dx is nothing but your property so then if you call this as equation number one so then i becomes i becomes 2 by pi integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so dx by where x is there substitute a plus b lower limit plus upper limit minus x if you see lower limit and upper limit if you add you are going to get minus pi by 4 plus pi by 4 that's nothing but 0 minus x that's what you are going to substitute instead of x as minus x if you take minus x 1 plus e power sine of minus x of course sine of minus x is nothing but minus sin x into 2 minus cos 2 into minus x that is what plus cos 2x only why because cos of minus theta gives plus cos theta that's what the result will be cos 2x as these now what simplification is there so now if you take e power minus sin x can be written as 1 by e power sin x then take lcm then what happened means this is equals to 2 by pi integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so e power minus sin x 1 by e power sin x after taking lcm you are going to get e power sin x will be in the numerator then if you take lcm you are getting e power sin x plus 1 into 2 minus cos 2x dx equation number 2 if you add 1 and 2 very clearly in the numerator this is 1 in the numerator here e power sin x e power 1 plus e power sin x will be there denominator also 1 plus e power sin x is there so e power 1 plus e power sin x 1 plus e power sin x both will be cancelled then you are going to get 2 by pi into integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 1 by 2 minus cos 2x dx when it is exists after adding 1 and 2 1 is i 2 also i i plus i is nothing but 2i then here 2 and 2 also get cancelled so i is equals to 1 by pi into integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so 1 by 2 minus cos 2x dx this kind of questions are very easy just you apply cos 2x formula then you are going to get very easily this is equals to i is equals to 1 by pi into integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so 1 by 2 minus cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1. That's what minus 2 cos square x minus 1. Minus of minus becomes plus 1 dx. That is what 2 plus 1, 3. So this can be written as this can be written as i is equals to integral 1 by pi into integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. So you are going to get 1 by 2 plus 1 3 
minus 2 cos square x dx very very easy model this kind of questions very simple just you take cos square x common or else numerator and denominator divide with cos square x then you are going to get 1 by pi into integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 1 by cos square x is nothing but secant square x whole by 3 by cos square x means secant square x minus 2 dx this is equals to 1 by pi times of integral minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 so secant square x by so secant square x can be written as 1 plus tan square x so 3 into 1 3 minus 2 that is equals to 1 plus tan square x into 3 is nothing but 1 plus 3 tan square x now the substitution will be very easy put tan x is equals to t you are going to get secant square x dx is equals to dt whenever you are taking the substitution at a glance you are going to change the sign that's what uh, uh, you are going to change the limits uh, that's what integral minus pi by 4 tan minus pi by 4 is nothing but minus 1 tan plus pi by 4 is nothing but 1 secant square is dx is nothing but dt by 1 plus uh, 3t square so then this can be written as 3 you can keep it outside this is what you are going to write 1 by 3 pi into integral minus 1 to 1 1 by 1 by root 3 whole square plus t square dt then this is nothing but integral 1 by x square plus a square dx that is what uh, 1 by a tan inverse x by a so 1 by 3 pi into 1 by a 1 by 1 by root 3 tan inverse x by a tan inverse uh, t by 1 by root 3 that is what uh, root 3 t between the limits minus 1 to 1 so this simplification is nothing but uh, 1 by root 3 1 by 1 by root 3 means root 3 so root 3 by 3 is nothing but 1 by root 3 pi into tan inverse if you take t as 1 uh, tan inverse root 3 minus uh, tan inverse of minus root 3 tan inverse root 3 is nothing but 60 plus 3 that is what 60 that is what you are going to write uh, 2 pi by 3 so 1 by root 3 pi into 2 pi by 3 so then pi pi get cancelled and this is equals to 2 by 3 root 3 this result is what left hand side simplification already we cancelled uh, 2 and 2 then the result is nothing but i only going on that's what the result is 2 by 3 root 3 so so 2 by 3 root 3 means what sir i is equals to but they're asking 27 i square result they're asking i is equals to 2 by 3 root 3 then squaring on both sides apply i square is equals to 4 by 9 into 3 27 then 27 i square is nothing but very clearly the value is 4 that's what this answer is nothing but uh, 4 is your answer so this kind of questions also very very easy whenever you know properties of definite integration let us move to next mod coming to next question from integral calculus next area is applications of integration there are applications of integration they are asking the area of the region uh, bounded by set of x comma y such that x less x y less than or equals to 8 1 less than or equal to y less than or equals to x square is followed by options very clearly this kind of questions definitely you have to go by using graphical approach if you draw the graph then the problem will be very easy x y is equals to 8 you can able to see and 1 less than or equals to y less than or equals to x that's what uh, the main curve is equals to x square is equals to y as well as y is equals to 1 so then the graph will becomes uh, how this is equals to so very clearly the graph is x square is equals to 4y shape x square is equals to 4ay is nothing but uh, that is what upward direction the graph is upward direction x square is equals to 4ay is upward direction oh, y is equals to one graph means uh, so this is parallel to x axis this is the graph then coming to next one uh, to x y is equals to 8 graph this is nothing but y is equals to 8 by x the meaning is if you take x as 0 then the graph will meet at infinite why because 8 by 0 is infinite then if you take x as 8 somewhere here 8 uh, then the graph will become set meets at uh, 1 that's what the graph will become like this the shape of x y is equals to 8 graph yeah. they're asking what is the bounded region means this is what the bounded region so this region they are asking sir if here if you observe there are two parts one is one is this part and the other one is this part so if you observe from this point to this point so this graph line depends on this curve equation which curve x square equal to 4a y curve and y is equals to one line equation it is not depends on x y equal to 
8 curve and also from the second part if you see this is lie on depends on x y equal to 8 curve as well as y is equals to 1 graph so that's what uh, we are going to call as two parts part 1 and part 2 we are going to write mixed part of these two and moreover you are going to find out the intersection points so very clearly the intersection points you know very well why because these two points meets x y equal to x square equal to y and y is equals to 1 means uh, of course x is equals to 1 so this point is nothing but 1 comma 1 whereas coming to here x is equals to 8 units of course this is 8 and y is equals to 1 this is what 8 comma 1 you don't know about this point just intersection point of these two curves by 1 and 2 you are going to write the intersection points y is equals to 8 by x x square is equals to 1 and 2 you can able to find out the intersection points that is what x square is equals to y y is equals to 8 by x which implies x cube is equals to 8 that is what 2 cube that is what x is equals to 2 x is equals to 2 that is what y is equals to 4 therefore the intersection point x comma y is equals to 2 comma 4 this is what 2 comma 4 now you are going to find out area so required area is equals to required area is equals to so integral from where to where with respect to x x i'm doing integral 1 to 2 so x axis limits 1 to 2 and 2 to 8 so integral 1 to 2 x x limits 1 to 2 so it is depends on which curve so y x square is equals to y curve as well as y is equals to one line equation so then what you are going to do first curve upper curve minus lower curve that is what x square y dx means y is nothing but x square x square minus y dx means 1 dx x square minus 1 into dx coming to the second part this is nothing but plus so addition part that is this part plus that part that's what we are using addition so now from here to here so x components 2 to 8 it is going on integral 2 to 8 it is depends on which curve x y is equals to 8 curve from this y means 8 by x so upper curve minus lower curve that is equals to what y is equals to 1 so 8 by x minus 1 into dx so this can be written as this is equals to x square dx x cube by 3 minus integral 1 dx x between the limits 1 to 2 plus 8 into integral 1 by x dx log mod x minus integral 1 dx x so if you observe 8 belongs to only this part 8 is not belongs to this x that's what 2 to 8 x between the limits 2 to 8 uh, now the simplification is 1 by 3 times of 2 cube 8 minus 1 cube 1 8 minus 1 7 minus 2 minus 1 plus 8 times of log 8 minus log 2 upper limit minus lower limit minus of 8 minus 2 so this can be written as 7 by 3 minus 2 minus 1 1 plus 8 times of log a minus log b is equals to log a by b that's what log 8 by 2 is equals to 4 minus 8 minus 2 equal to 6 then if you simplify this can be written as equals to minus 14 by 3 so plus 8 uh, log 2 square log 2 square can be written as 2 log 2 2 into 8 that is what 16 log 2 base c if you want you can able to write so that's what the answer is 16 log 2 base c minus 14 by 3 is the correct answer 16 log 2 base c minus 14 by 3 that's what first option is correct answer this is what 8 log 2 wrong 16 log 2 base c minus 6 wrong that is also wrong so that's what uh, first option is correct answer so whenever you are going to draw the diagram then this kind of approach questions are very very easy i hope you enjoyed the class that's all for today's class thank you very much thanks a lot